Hi again guys. So this is my early morning ride from uh, from Commodoro uh, River, River Davia to Abaja, Bahia Blanca. Um, th this base, this ride was um, after I ran out of gas yesterday, or the, or the day before yesterday. Um, I was, we were having lots of problems. There's YPF. That's the only gas producer I trusted uh, after today. Um, so the, I, I actually uh, went to a gas station and um, the, the first gas station was closed and, the, and the, uh, it was out of gas. The second gas station I went to, and there was a couple of other bikers there. And um, what happened was, uh, you know, I always got the good gas. Um, so I always got the premium. Uh, but I got a really bad batch and what happened was is the bike just wouldn't go above 30 kilometers an hour, 40 kilometers an hour, just chug and chug and chug. And the other uh, three BMW riders, um, they also had problems. They decided to continue on. Um, they, they were, you know, my fuel pump just wasn't handling. I was getting fuel pump error, fuel pump error. And it was a bit of a nightmare. So basically, I, I ended up turning around and riding my bike um, close. To, I, I rang I rang the guys in Miami uh, at the at KTM, and they said 90% guaranteed. It's the it's the fuel because I just wanted to know from them uh, exactly what what options I had, what what could what what are the things that could possibly be. I was reasonably sure it was the gas, and they just said, "Look, 90% guaranteed. It's that you got a really bad batch of gas." So I had the choice. Um, so basically, what I had to do is take my bike apart, and then uh, bleed my gas tank, and then take my one gallon, uh, my one gallon tank, and um, take my one gallon tank, and then and then fill that up, go back to my bike, and go back to my bike and um, and put that in, then go back to the uh, other gas station. So I was, this, this, this is the gas station we went to where we got the bad, bad batch. Um, and I met these guys up the road a little bit further. And this is the one, this is me returning back to the gas station to get some proper gas. So, yeah, it was, it, it cost me about two hours. Um, then I ended up getting in, in there late at night. But you know, there's nothing much you can do about it. Um, you know, you, the thing is, YPF is probably the only gas station I could trust after that, which I didn't have that many riding days to go. But uh, the problem was, is that or, or, or a lot of the towns you went to, the, all the gas stations were out of gas. So um, you just basically had to, uh, there's me screwing around, uh, you basically had to um, be really, really careful and make sure you always got premium, especially with a modern bike like mine. Um, and uh, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just a really frustrating thing to go through. Um, the bike got better and better, but the the fuel pump was never the same. I ended up having to replace it, um, and uh, yeah, but it was just a, a shocking match. Like I honestly couldn't. You, 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 I would try to accelerate, and it just nothing would happen. Uh, this is another. This is a, this is further down the road now. Another gas stop. Um, so it turned, you know, it was a, a thousand kilometer day, a big long day, um, and it started getting a little bit better now, the, 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 you know, a little bit more interesting, the riding. Um, and Baja Bianca Blanca was a, um, it's a beautiful little town. Um, it's a port city, uh, but it's, it's really, um, it's got a beautiful center, uh, center of the city, like very old buildings, uh, very pretty uh, streets and um, yeah, it was quite a surprise. I stayed there for two nights um, and I again basically 
the idea was to get the gas down to as little as possible and then hopefully get some good gas. Uh, so I rode the bike around the town the second day to get it down to near empty again and then just get another fresh batch, batch of gas in there and uh, hopefully that would solve the problem. It pretty much solved the issue but I still had a little bit of problems with the, with the pump. I would, every now and then I'd get a fuel pump warning. And it was mainly on the acceleration like and it can be pretty scary when you go to overtake a truck and then all of a sudden the power's not there you know um, so you actually actually had just you, you couldn't give it full power yet uh, for for a day or two you actually had to ease the power on and it, and it wasn't so bad but as soon as you you put the power on it just chugged so I had a couple of scary moments actually uh, not really bad but you know um, just, it just wouldn't do that, you know, it's a big powerful bike and it just wouldn't do that acceleration that I needed. And so it ended up being that I, I ended up getting in very late at night, so it's basically two riding days in a row of, uh, three riding days in a row of issues with gas and gas stations and uh, the quality of the gas. I mean, I've never, ever experienced that. Uh, I had one bad batch in, um, in Central America uh, but I hadn't had anything near this bad. Um, it was just crap. Uh, so it was pretty frustrating. Um, pretty frustrating days, right? But I had two days in in this town, and um, I was looking forward to uh, to just having a look around the around the city and going through a couple of rides the next day, just to leave the tent down to zero, pretty much, and then fill her up again. Um, you can put. Uh, you know, if you can get hold of that uh, that high octane, those little little capsules, those little cans of that high octane. This is me getting in there. It's probably about 8 p.m. at 8:30 p.m. at night. Um, you can get those little little I can't remember what they're called, but they're high octane thing to put in your tank. And I would suggest you do that if you ever get any. Maybe, maybe in Chile and Argentina, get um, get a couple of those and have them with you just in case, you know, but I don't know if they make too much of a difference, but it seemed to, seemed to work um, uh, for me anyway. Uh, yeah, so basically arrived there late at night. <coughs> um, the, the hotel I was staying in, I had to call the person to say it was a, like an Airbnb hotel. Um, I had to call the person, tell them that I was gonna be late. They were really good, they ended up getting, I, I ended up waiting at the place for about half an hour, but that's fine. Uh, it was my fault that I was late. Um, but yeah, a, a really pretty little town. Um, uh, really nice center, center, uh, center square. So I was glad I, I was glad this was one of the stops, and I was glad I stayed there a couple of nights because I would have regretted it if I only stayed there one night. Yeah, so the, the idea then from Baja Bianca is to get to Buenos Aires and it's a fair bit of organising to do and I'll talk about the, the getting your bike from Buenos Aires back to the US mainland and the different options you have and the pricing and how to organise it in, the, in, the, in, that, uh, in that video. But uh, all in all, a, a, pretty, a pretty eventful day. Um, you, you think you're just going to be cruising and then all of a sudden stuff like that happens. Um, and it's a bit, Argentina's a bit of a, it's in a bit of a, it's been, I mean, I visited there five or six years ago and it was, it, it was bad times then and it's bad times now. Everybody wants cash, you know, using your debit card or credit card, hardly anybody wants to accept it. Even some of the major agencies don't accept them because nobody wants to put their money in the bank because of what the government's done to them in the past. So here's just a couple of shots, a couple of the, Streets near where I was staying, and that's this is the view from where I was staying. It's quite nice, um, and then just walking around the streets the next morning. But a nice little town, and, and definitely put on your list of, of places to visit for two nights maximum. Okay, guys, any questions or comments below? Just clean my bike there. Thank you.